Okay, I want to talk about carving turns. I learned to carve turns like really tight, really fast when I was 40 years old. And usually when you're an old guy like that, you don't learn very much, but I learned this, so it was really cool. So I want to share this. So first of all, I think it's easiest on a descent with a turn, right? It's, it's you know, um, because the descent is going to give you the acceleration component which you need to, to really hold on the turn. We'll just leave it there. Otherwise, you need a lot of momentum. And I'm going to focus, you know, like on a downhill tight turn dynamic. So assuming, you know, you got this downhill, you have acceleration from, from your gravity, use it, right? Use it wisely. What you're going to have to do is lean the bike, number one. There's no turning the handlebar. If you turn the handlebar, it's just, uh, <laughs> you lose all your momentum, the speed, uh, essentially you can measure the cosine, the angle of the turn, and that's, you lose all that, right? So not interested in losing anything. So you lean the bike, number one. That, that's first. Number two, you pull your butt off the saddle. Because if you're sitting on the saddle, you can't really move it. You can't move the back of the bike. You can lean the front of the bike, but the back of the bike is going to stay in the wrong line. And you use your butt and you push the side of the saddle in the direction you're turning. So if I'm turning left, you push the left side of the saddle to the right, and it'll carve the turn. So you're going to get forces from your hands leaning in the front and your butt pushing on the back. And together, they actually make such a beautiful arc. And when you you know have phenomenal momentum, or you, you have acceleration from a hill, it, it's just an adrenaline rush. It's awesome. So I just highly recommend everybody try it patiently, slowly. It's it's you know it, I mean it, it's not easy, but it's not hard. But I I would assume that it could be dangerous for some people. So start out really slow. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you're safe. And uh, pick up the speed if, if you feel safe and comfortable and have fun. It's literally one of the most enjoyable things I do. Thanks.